What's going on everyone? In this video, I want to quickly discuss file upload and how you can exploit file upload functionalities within different websites. So to do that, I'm gonna use this lab from Port Swigger Academy, um, this lab specifically. And what you need to do to complete this lab is bypass the file upload restrictions and gain a string back from this operating system directory file um, and pop it into this submit solution button. Um, so let's get straight to it. We need to log in with the details, which is Wiener and Peter. So let's go to accounts and log in. And straight away, we can see that there's a file upload functionality here. So what we want to do is firstly, try and upload a PHP file. So cmd.php will do. Whilst trying to upload that, you can see that there's some validation being conducted. So, sorry, file type application octet stream is not allowed and only image JPEGs or image PNGs are. So let me just re retry and upload that again and intercept it to show you what that means. So this is the post request that's going to the web server and this is the PHP file that I'm trying to send. This is the contents of it. You can see here that the content type is application octet stream. And what that message that we just saw says, we can only have the image content type here, not this type. So one way to bypass this would be to use the content type that they've said and just simply replace this to try and trick the web application to think that this PHP file is actually an image file. Another way that you can commonly do it is by changing the actual extension within the file name parameter of the upload. So you could do something like cmd.png.php. So the file upload functionality might see the PNG and think, okay, it's a it's an image, but actually when it's uploaded, it's a PHP file. That's another potential method. You might also find uh, other vulnerabilities with file uploads. So there might be an extra field here that um, kind of presents where the file is going to be uploaded. So if there, if you can tamper with that and maybe overwrite some operating system files, that could be a vulnerability there because you might be able to overwrite some SSH keys and log into the box like that, for example. But in this case, it's the content type that we need to play around with here. So let's get to that. If we change let me just go ahead and grab one of these again. The image JPEG was one of the ones that we can use. If I go ahead, well, first and foremost, I'm just gonna show you this, uh, this is what we're uploading. So what this PHP file is doing is it's making a get um, parameter that we can use that gets passed straight into system uh, to talk to the underlying operating system. So we could put like a, an LS or um, a cat to read out a file uh, for, for the system, but actually in this lab, which I've already done, this doesn't work. They've stopped you using system. So what you actually need to do is use this PHP function called file get contents. Um, and what that does is it'll echo out the file that you put into here. So let's just grab that file that we need, which is home Carlos and secret, pop that into here and save it. Now, when we try and upload a file, let's get Bert back up. When we upload that file that I just put the contents into and intercept it, we'll change the application octet stream, if, which is what this PHP file is, to an image, a JPEG image. So this web application is going to think that I'm uploading a JPEG when actually I'm uploading a uh, PHP contents here and a PHP file here. So there's no extra validation being done. If I forward that, you can see that the upload's been successful. So if I then click on this, this image and inspect it and go to the file location, which is here, just to pen that onto the URL, you'll see that we've now got this secret value. So we've actually gained this data from the underlying operating system using this web shell that uh, we created here. And there's loads of them online if you just Google PHP web shell and PHP is not the only language you can do this with. So if we take this value, pop it into submit solution, that's the lab solved. So that's a few ways that you can mess around with file upload functionalities to try and exploit 
a web application and there's there's more ways to do this of course and there's other things you need to think of like uploading malicious files that you might be able to pass the users of the application or you might be able to get a web administrator to run so you could gain a, a shell a, a remote connection to the web server and move laterally after that but this is kind of a simple introduction to uh, upload exploits so I hope you learned something here and uh, thanks for watching